morning, my love. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you all of the little activities and different things that I do to bond with my six-month-old baby girl. And if you're into early child development, baby brain and stimulation and milestoning, then just keep watching the video. Much I love you, you put my favorite song on. I put my feet up and we just sing along. Now, before I go get my baby girl, I want to talk to the people who are new here. My name is Brittany Kelly. I'm a mom of four. Dove is my youngest child. She is six months old. I have a three-year-old, a five-year-old, and a seven-year-old as well. So this video is just gonna focus on what I do with her during the day. But remember, I have three other children also here. So this isn't a day of like me as a mom in totality. I'm just gonna show you some of the things that I do with the baby. Say good morning. Say hi, this is Dove. She's six months old. Please let go of my wig, girl. Please let go of the wig. <laughs> so the first thing we do, of course, is get her changed and ready for the day. So I'm gonna change her diaper and change her clothes. And then I'm going to do a baby massage and just massage her and get her all warmed up. Baby massages are very stimulating for the brain. So it's something really good to do every day. And then we're gonna get into our sight words and all of our learning and activities and gross motor skills. More than I would cause I'm just loving this moment can we stay here forever 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 okay so one of the things that i love to do first thing in the morning with my baby girl is to go over her sight words now i normally do this during breakfast time, but since you are my special guest for today, I'm gonna show you from here because it's just a little bit easier to record from here. Dove is in her little outfit for the day. She said, make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, right? Right. <laughs> All right, let's do our sight words. I like to do five a day. Ready? Is, is, night, sat, yes, play. Is, you want is? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So now it's time to focus on gross motor skills. So I like to pull out a mat and I have this really great app that I'm gonna tell you about right now. You're gonna love it. on her gross motor skills like trying to crawl and creep and also reaching for items one of the things that I think helps with that is putting things toward the side of the baby because I noticed with my other kids that they tend to they tended to learn how to move in a circle before they learned how to move in a straight line forward so I like to try to encourage her to move in a circle now and I feel like that's like gonna help with her mobility. Also, I like to give her shapes and start introducing shapes and colors. And we start reading our first set of baby books. So we try to read like two to three books at this time. And I aim for anywhere between five and 10 books read to her a day because I have, I have four kids. So I'm not gonna make myself feel bad if I only get to five. <laughs> yes, little mama. Now these are some of the books I'm gonna read to her now. Um, this one is so fun because it has dialogues. So I can be very expressive and she really loves it. All of my kids love this book. And then also Tidy Up. Now if you're into Montessori, getting more real life books about real day-to-day -day activities instead of like the cartoon characters but like real stuff is much more Montessori. So I do try to lean toward this because it gives the children very solid foundation of reality and then we can move on to fantasy but I just can't help it. I really do like Dr. Seuss books and stuff so yeah. A little bit of each. Okay, so while Dove is playing, let me tell you about this app. 
It's so good. So as a busy mom of four, I mean, it was one thing for me to come up with interesting, fun activities and remember all the things that my baby needed to do to learn and grow and develop and for me to support their milestones when I had one child or even two children. But once I got past two, it started to get a little, I mean, I didn't even have enough hands, right? I only have two hands. So I found this app that I think is so great because it kind of takes the guesswork out of what you need to do for your baby at that age to help them and support them through their milestones or give you activities to do. So this type of stuff really gets me excited and this app is called Baby Sparks. Okay, so Baby Sparks shows you what you need to do with your baby on any given day. So say today's like daily program and it'll have five selected activities. And you can try different activities and it'll show you exactly what to do and you can try it out on your baby. And it is so cool, you can push complete at the end of it. And I just really, really love it. And it shows you things that you wouldn't even think to try with your baby. So if you are a parent like me, I'm not, the Baby Sparks did not sponsor this video. This is my just genuine suggestion. But even if they did sponsor it, honestly, like I'm never going to not tell you what I think about something, honestly, I'm just not. So especially when it comes to my kids, you guys, I don't play, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and try some of these activities with her so that she's stimulated and then we're gonna go and have some food. Okay, so now that Dove is all rested from her nap, I like to do a, so a couple of activities with her as well, as far as singing and doing a lot of songs that deal with clapping, okay? Let's do, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Now the reason why I like to do this because I'm trying to encourage her to clap. I love when babies get that milestone of clapping. So I try to sing songs that have clapping in it so that I can encourage her to want to try and clap. Time for my little baby to eat. Yeah, you want some? Uh. So we also do our sight words as well during this time. Yes, night, play, is, sat. Yes, we're gonna go over the number three. So I have three of these. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So here I like to do specifically the concrete. So I'm not showing her necessarily the number three written yet. I'm focusing on the quantities of the numbers because that is concrete and the written number is more abstract. Okay, so now that we are done with our math, we're going to read our next set of books and we also are going to get ready to do signing time. Forever, forever, I watch you as you sleep, you don't know I'm looking, with you everything's complete, do you know how much I love you, I put your favorite song on, oh no, Dove is getting tired so it is time for her second nap. I nurse her to sleep. It doesn't bother me. I'm fine with it. It doesn't last forever, so I actually 
don't mind nursing her to sleep. But I know some other parents aren't really into that. But um, but I really enjoy nursing her to sleep. And to be honest, when my other children were older and they would nap with other people, like if I had a babysitter or you know their dad, they could sleep without nursing to sleep, and they could sleep without. Um, pacifiers. Dove is really my only baby who uses a pacifier at all and she just started like a month ago using a pacifier. So it's not a problem for me but yeah we nurse to sleep and I love it. This moment, can we stay here?